Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome to iReviews and this is my official review of the new iOS 15. iOS 15 was first introduced by Apple in June at WWDC 2021. And of course, it has gone through a lot of beta stages. I have tested this software through all of its beta stages for three months now, and there are a lot of new features that I found very useful, and I believe most iPhone users will as well, and of course, will use them on daily basis on their iPhones running iOS 15. So in this video, I will do my official review and show you guys the most impressive features that I believe are very, very useful, and of course, everything else that is new on iOS 15. Starting things off with the lock screen. Taking a look at the lock screen on iOS 15, it's basically the same as on iOS 14, but here you will have a new feature. You swipe down and now you will have the ability here to go to the spotlight search without having to unlock your device. You can search your device from the lock screen or even have access to any of the series suggestions that you get on your spotlight search. Moving to, no to the notification center, you will see right here a new design for the notification and what you can do here is swipe on a notification to clear it or tap on the options and then you will get here a lot of new options. You can add this to the summary. We have now new summary notifications. I will get to that in a second or you can go ahead and configure the notifications per app directly from the lock screen or you can also go ahead and delete the notification directly from there. Moving on to the home screen, nothing new here. Basically, you will get the same. You have the same app library as on iOS 14, but what's new here is that now when you go to edit your pages right here on the home screen, you can actually completely delete pages with apps, of course, and those apps will be automatically moved to the app library. And you can also rearrange now pages on the home screen, which is a very nice feature that of course, a lot of people have been asking for since iOS 14. And now moving on to the control center, basically the design is the same, even though we have some minor changes here. First of all, you will notice here we have the focus. So basically focus now replaces do not disturb and it has a lot of different modes which you can expand from here and of course enable any one of them directly from the control center. Now what you can do here is just tap that little button to enable or disable your focuses quickly or three to touch there and you will have the ability to actually enable any of these or tap the three dots to go to the settings of any of these focuses or you can add a new one by tapping the plus button directly from there. You can start your custom or you can start any of the suggestions right here. Let's move back to the control center, see what else is new. Right here we have the music recognition. Now on iOS 15 we have a great new feature which shows the history of the songs that you have found using music recognition on the control center of iOS 15. And you will have here some minor redesigns like the note here, the note icon, and we have a slight redesign there for the camera as well. Nothing much new on the control center. We were waiting and hoping for a completely redesigned control center, but maybe it will happen on iOS 16. There are new home screen widgets as well. Even though nothing has changed and you still cannot interact with the home screen widgets, we have some new ones and we have one for the control center. Actually, we have there two displaying two different info and we have for the sleep, we have the contacts one, which is my favorite by far of all iOS 14 and 15 home screen widgets. And then we have one for the app store as well. Now, basically the one that I found useful here is the contacts one. It lets you add any of your contacts and quickly have access to them from the home screen of your iOS 15 device. Now I have this one, the smaller one with a single contact. You can have the medium one with four and you have the one with eight as well. So tapping a contact, you will see everything that you need here from the buttons here to call them, message them, FaceTime them. And of course, we'll find everything here, maybe messages that you have sent or received from them, that contact and emails as well. So I find this very, very useful. Now adding contact, it's pretty simple. It's just 3D touch on that widget, tap on edit widget and just choose any of the contacts from your contacts list. The next bigger feature of iOS 15 is live text. So basically with live text, you can just use the camera 
to add like text anywhere you want like right here at the address bar if i just want to paste like a link or something i can go ahead and scan the text from the camera here and just maybe like scan any like website or anything that i find or if i just go ahead take a screenshot maybe of something a website or something i can go ahead and from here just tap right there and of course be able to copy any of the text that you can find on that screenshot maybe like a comment or something like that that you cannot actually copy from an app you can do that using ios 15 right here you can copy that and of course use it anywhere you want and the next feature which i believe is great and of course a lot of people will find it useful is right here you can see as soon as i copied that text i had the option to translate it from here so with iOS 15, you will be able to translate from basically anywhere on your device. Anywhere that you can select a piece of text, you can go ahead and translate. Now right here, you can change the languages and of course choose to which language you want to actually translate. And once you're done, you can go ahead and tap right there to play that or just tap right here to copy the translation of the text that you have copied. With iOS 15, Apple has also enabled the drag and drop feature through iOS. You can basically just drag and drop almost anything. Like I have a picture right here. Let's say I want to move this to the files app. All I have to do is just drag it like this, open the files app, and I can release that picture right here. As simple as that. Or if I want to do that, I can do like a text. Maybe I can drag that to right here to iMessages or maybe even to an email. I can do that with files as well and with text as well. Any like text that I wanna drag from a note, I can drag that to the iMessage and that's really, really easy. Or I can go ahead and drag a tab maybe here from Safari to another app like here i can go ahead and just drag it on chrome and release it and it will open that on chrome that's very easy to do basically anything can be dragged and dropped with ios 15 this is an amazing feature and of course a lot of people will probably find it very very useful now let's move on to some of the apps that have been updated the most on ios 15 and let's see what new features and changes apple has brought to these apps and of course one of the more controversial ones is safari a lot of people hated it the new look and the new design of safari basically it's not that practical and it will take a lot of time to get used to it i didn't actually get used to it and when apple just offered the opportunity to go back to the old design I did it the minute I got the update. So right here on Safari, the first thing you will notice, you will have an edit button right here that basically lets you change the look of Safari. You can add a background image from your eye message from your actually images library and choose any like background for Safari or right here. You can also go ahead and just rearrange anything that you have here on the start page and of course enable or disable them as well, which is actually very, very useful. Now, when you open a tab on Safari, you can see we have the old look here, but we can go to the new look and you can see how it looks. It's actually totally different and it will take quite some time for you to get used to this look if you want to actually use it. But again, you can just tap the AA button right there and you can go ahead and go back to the old look of Safari if you don't like the new one, even though I suggest you guys go ahead and give it a try, maybe you will like it. So right here, what you can do is actually refresh a page directly from there or if you're going to enter right here a website you will have this little button to actually go ahead and dictate to safari really really quick now safari also allows extensions and you can add them by going through the settings of safari and you will have there a tab that will take you to the app store we'll get to that in a second so basically safari despite the new look here we have like a bunch of new features which to them i will get on a video that i will have like more details on all these hidden features and you can see also the new tab look of course this allows you to quickly close the tabs directly from there and of course even rearrange the tab any way you like the photos app also got a lot of updates so swiping up on a picture you will now see a lot of details regarding that picture you can see right here it shows you of course the date and the time it was taken it will show you the camera info if there is any camera info 
like if we go ahead and do this right here you can see is a screenshot it shows that is a png file basically it will show you all kinds of details regarding your pictures and this is right here really interesting you will see that little i button that basically shows you those informations and it will also show you from which app it was saved but if you have something like a cat that i have right here you can see it shows some like little stars right there tapping on it you can see it recognizes that there is a cat on the picture and i can just tap right there and it will show me the results here all kinds of different information regarding whatever is on that picture which ios of course will recognize now what you can do right here is also adjust the time and the day the picture was taken and also add a location to these pictures now probably despite safari the weather app is the app that has been updated the most it actually has been redesigned completely and you can see here a whole new look when you go to one of the cities it's actually really really awesome and i really like the new weather app now the feature that probably most people will use is the new notifications feature so when you go to the cities view right here on the weather app you can tap the three dots and what you can do here is go to notifications and actually enable notifications for your location in any of the cities that you have on the list so what it will do basically it will send you notifications when the weather app basically predicts that there will be a rain or snow or a storm or something like that on your location or any of the location to which you have enabled the basically the switch right here so you will get notified right away right on the lock screen of your device for any of the cities otherwise you can see right here we have a ton of different information you will have the air quality right there you have the map right here with the temperature which actually expands if you tap on it and you can go ahead and switch from here by tapping there you can go maybe to the air quality and basically choose whatever you want to see there pretty cool and then you will have all the different information like the rain the humidity right here the visibility and everything else that you need to know regarding your location or any of the cities that you choose moving on to the iMessage app now we have a few different changes here as well one that i find very useful is the ability to actually translate messages from within the message app so just three to touch on any message and you will get the option right here to translate this message which is really useful also you will get a button right there to quickly make a facetime call on audio or video to any of the contacts to which you're talking to really good and of course you will get a bunch of new emoji options and all that stuff but of course not a lot of people will actually care about that so that's basically what's new on the messages app there are a lot of new like smaller feature but these are the biggest one that you will find on the new iMessage app on iOS 15 and now let's move to the notes app so the notes app now got smart folders and you will also have tags so you can easily find your notes using tags so you can see right here we have all the tags and if i tap on one of them of course it will filter basically the notes based on the tags that i choose you can go ahead and add here a new smart folder and you can go ahead and add also a new tag so you can create tags and then on a note you just type the tag that you have right here and then you will be basically able to actually filter any of the notes using the tags and easier find them on your notes app that's really really good and of course very useful if you have a lot of notes like i do right here you will be able to organize them and quickly find them anytime you need them moving now to the settings app now the settings app has also been redesigned and now it's separated into different sections right here which actually makes it look way way better and i really love this design of the new settings app on ios 15. now we have quite a lot of changes here if we go to the general you can notice right here we have now a new section for vpn and device management now here we'll find your vpn profiles as well as your configuration profiles basically the beta profiles that someone might install they will be now right here in this section and lower here you can find transfer or reset iphone this is new and this is actually very very useful one of the biggest features of ios 15 which is probably underrated going here here's what you will find 
reset iPhone or erase all content and settings. But you will also find this right here, prepare for new iPhone. And tapping on it, this is what you will get. You will basically get extra free storage on iCloud in order to transfer your data to iCloud and then transfer them to your new iPhone. Of course, we have a ton of data. If you just use the five gigs that are free on the iCloud, probably of course your data won't be just like enough for your data right there so you will get now extra free storage on your iphone to move to the new iphone and this is very very useful now let's move back here and see what we have new for notifications if you go here a ton of new options for notifications as well we have the scheduled summary going here you can enable scheduled summary so basically any of the apps that you enable right here notifications from those app will come on a schedule and not like all the time during the day and you can add your schedules right here and choose at what time of the day you want to receive your notification summaries that's really really useful and what you get here is a list of apps it shows you how many notifications you get from those apps and of course you can enable that from here now you have also here screen sharing you can allow or disable notifications when you're using screen sharing so of course you don't want someone to see your notifications when you're sharing the screen with them you can go ahead and disable that from here and you have announced notifications from siri you can enable that you can enable only on iphone and of course have the option here to choose for which app you want to enable those notifications now going to one of the apps right here you can see you have time sensitive notifications enabling that will allow your iphone to actually just bring you that notification the moment it comes so immediately display the notification on your lock screen which is really really good and going back here let's see what else new we got going to an app like mail for example you'll give the option to actually customize its notifications so choose per different account what you want to get what sound whether you want to get alerts or badges or not under accessibility on the new settings app on iPhone, you will now get per app settings. Going here, you can add any of the apps that you have on your device and choose the settings that are applied specifically for that app. So you tap right there on the app and you will get all the different settings that you can change for that app. Now, all these will show right here. You can edit them, of course, delete them or add new apps anytime you want. From here it's very very easy to do and of course very useful as well and moving on to the wallpapers kind of disappointing with ios 15 we only got one new wallpaper here of course we have a light and dark mode but it's only one now, there will be new ones with the iphone 13 but those won't come to all the devices so that's kind of disappointing not getting like any new wallpapers with ios 15. Moving on to Safari here, we have some changes as well. So first of all, we have extensions right here. You can add extensions to Safari by tapping on more extensions. That will take you to the extensions page on the app store and you can install them for your safari app directly from there you will get here the option to choose the tabs view whether you want a single tab or tab bar right there and of course you have other options as well and one very very useful option is right here hide ip address so choose from trackers there and your your ip address will basically be hidden from trackers so that your personal information and data will be safe this is very very useful and i suggest everyone does that on their iphone so that's basically it for this video guys this is my official review of the new ios 15 which will be released in a few days september 20th now we have the gm version right now which if you have installed on your device is the final version of ios 15 and you won't get an update in monday because this is the final one so there are a lot of great features these are some of my favorites and some that i believe a lot of users will find useful on ios 15. for more ios 15 videos make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course don't forget to leave a like on this video and i will see you guys on the next one